Imagine a world where the boundaries of gaming are shattered, where the past, present, and future collide in a symphony of pixels and dreams. Today, we embark on a journey through Microsoft's gaming empire, from its humble beginnings to the cutting-edge frontiers of Xbox, Windows, and beyond. Hey gaming enthusiasts! Welcome to Profit Profiles. We're exploring the gaming empire of one of the biggest tech giants in the world. From Windows to Xbox, Microsoft has left a lasting impact on the gaming industry. So, grab your controllers and let's get started. Microsoft makes a significant amount of its revenue, earning $198 billion annually, primarily from providing cloud resources and comprehensive software solutions to businesses. While Microsoft products find use among consumers, the company's central focus and primary revenue stream derive from its corporate customers. One notable exception to this business-centric approach is Microsoft's Xbox platform, which caters to consumers' gaming and entertainment preferences. Gaming is the sole substantial sector within Microsoft where consumers take center stage as the primary focus of its business strategy. Microsoft raked in a significant $16 billion in revenue from gaming, accounting for approximately 8% of its overall earnings. Gaming within Microsoft is mainly about its Xbox platform. For a long time, gaming looked like a weird fit for business-focused. Microsoft's strategic vision in the gaming industry has become clearer in recent times, marked by a series of smaller gaming studio acquisitions. With the introduction of Game Pass and Xbox Cloud Gaming, the potential for growth in this sector has become much more evident. While gaming customers predominantly consist of Xbox console users at present, Microsoft is strategically expanding its reach to encompass PCs and smart devices. The primary revenue driver within this gaming ecosystem revolves around Xbox content and services. Microsoft earns revenue by taking a cut from third-party games sold on the Xbox platform and by selling games developed by its in-house game studios. In addition to game sales, substantial revenue streams are derived from Xbox Gold subscriptions, which grant gamers access to online multiplayer experiences, and the Xbox Games Pass subscription, which offers a vast library of games for a monthly fee. Apart from taking a commission from Xbox Store transactions, Microsoft earns money by selling different subscriptions to gamers. The Xbox Live Gold subscription is a must-have $59.99 yearly add-on for anyone who wants to play non-free games in multiplayer mode on the Xbox console. The journey of the Xbox began in the early 2000s, when Microsoft decided to enter the gaming industry with a bang. In 2001, they introduced the Xbox, a gaming console that would change the landscape of gaming forever. Windows, their flagship operating system, has played a significant role in PC gaming. Originally titled the Direct Xbox, it was the first American-made console since the Atari Jaguar in the mid-90s. The console came about after Sega collaborated with Microsoft to try to port Windows C to the Dreamcast. As a start, four DirectX engineers took apart a few laptops to construct a prototype using the Windows operating system. It turned out the Microsoft marketing department hated the name Xbox, but it had proven popular during focus groups. The smaller Xbox controller, known as the Controller S, was priced at around $29.99 when it was released. Xbox Live went online in November 2002, it was different from the Dreamcast and PlayStation 2 services in that it required a subscription fee and a broadband connection. The Xbox Live subscription fee started at $49.99 per year, when it first launched in 2002. The last game released for the original Xbox was Madden NFL 09 and the best-selling game was, of course, Halo 2. DirectX is the secret sauce that allows most of the best PC games to run. It solves a problem for developers by offering a standardized solution to communicate instructions to your graphics card, and it's a cornerstone of the best graphics cards you can buy right now. Microsoft didn't just create platforms, they also acquired top-notch game development studios. Enter Xbox Game Studios. Xbox Game Studios works with the world's top game design companies and development studios to create some of the world's most beloved video games. Xbox Game Studios is actually made up of 15 smaller studios within the company that specialize in different types of games on different types of devices. In recent years, Microsoft has taken gaming to the cloud with Xbox Cloud Gaming, formerly known as Project xCloud. 
With the support of an incredible Xbox Game Pass library behind it, Xbox Cloud Gaming is poised to take the cloud gaming crown in 2023. However, it has since expanded its reach to include Windows PCs and Xbox consoles, along with support for Apple's iPhone and iPad devices via a web browser. Xbox Cloud Gaming was included as part of the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate subscription, which was priced at $14.99 per month. One of Microsoft's most significant contributions to gaming is the Xbox Game Pass. Game Pass has become a central component of the Xbox ecosystem. There are over 25 million subscribers to the Microsoft Gaming subscription service, which not only gives users access to hundreds of experiences from across three Xbox generations on console, PC, or the cloud, but also the opportunity to play brand new upcoming Xbox Series X games from the day of their release. So, what does the future hold for Microsoft's gaming empire? The next generation of Xbox gaming is a little more complicated than what we're used to. For starters, Microsoft has released not one but two new consoles, the Xbox Series X and the Xbox Series S. The Xbox Series X was priced at $499 at its launch, offering a premium gaming experience with top-tier hardware capabilities. The Xbox Series S, positioned as a more affordable entry point into next-gen gaming, was priced at $299. They are actively exploring cloud gaming, expanding their reach to more players around the world. And let's not forget iconic franchises like Halo that continue to evolve and captivate players. In conclusion, Microsoft's gaming empire has come a long way, from the introduction of the Xbox to the groundbreaking innovations in cloud gaming and subscription services like Xbox Game Pass. They've not only shaped the gaming industry but also made gaming more inclusive and accessible for everyone. We can't wait to see what the future holds for Microsoft and the gaming world. Thanks for joining us on this journey through their gaming empire. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated with more exciting content on Profit Profiles. Until next time, happy gaming!